Stevie Lane 5 1, turn right heading 180. 1 4 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. The Boeing 777 was introduced to the aviation industry many decades ago and has since become one of the most world renowned wide body aircraft and today is still incredibly popular and can be seen around the world. What makes it so successful though and how do we actually define success within the aviation industry? As naturally, it can be quite the subjective matter and a very opinionated matter as well. The aircraft was introduced with United Airlines back in 1995 after being launched, firstly some five years earlier, in 1990 to customers. The aircraft was designed with the sole purpose of creating a better bridge between, at the time, the highly successful Boeing 747 and the Boeing 767. Unlike the 747, the 777 sports two engines, and unlike the 767, the 777 is longer and can fly further, and you could say is optimised better for long-haul operations over that of the 767. You heard me mention the Boeing 747 just then. Well, before the likes of the 787, Airbus A350, the A330neo, the 777X and so forth, the 747 throughout the 70s and 80s was the go-to aircraft of choice for long-haul operations mostly. However, that didn't mean airlines weren't starting to realise that, well, it wasn't exactly that efficient. In fact, it burned through an incredible amount of fuel and wasn't very eco-friendly, if you will. Also, it was extremely costly to operate. As we moved closer to the turn of the century, airlines were looking for something different. Airbus had their A340. While it was big, with the Dash 600 variant, meaning it could carry many passengers, it was still housing four engines as well, which is not exactly, as we know, eco-friendly, and is one of the biggest reasons as to why the A340, while of course did receive orders, never really hit the heights of the Boeing 777, and of course didn't have that longevity within the aviation industry. Ultimately, Boeing saw things a tad differently to Airbus, and if anything, saw the industry moving in a better way. Airbus used their A340 as it was the safe and somewhat familiar option to customers. However, playing something safe doesn't always mean that it will work in this day and age. Sometimes it's worth being bold and taking a risk or going the extra mile to do something that no one is expecting, to shock your core customer base. That is essentially what the Boeing 777 is, and boy has it been a success, with well over 1,000 orders and them still delivering the type today in 2021. And we sit today, nearly 31 years after its original launch to the world and 26 years after its introduction with United Airlines, and it is still the backbone of the Emirates fleet and other carriers' long-haul operations worldwide. Boeing had the upper hand for a considerable amount of time for many reasons over Airbus in this sense. The aircraft offered customers something different, but as you can probably imagine, the 777 has a relatively safe and reliable safety record, and over the years, it's been noted by many pilots to be incredibly easy to fly. The aircraft also has many different components that make it up to be one of the perfect aircrafts flying today, that I often mention is pretty hard to achieve. The Boeing 777 has many different components that help make it a success within the industry today, like I've mentioned so many times before. The aircraft also has been a hit with passengers who have flown inside it. Especially when it was new, people ranted and raved about its comfort levels and how spacious it felt on the inside. It was a win-win in both customers and also flying passengers' books, which is not more than you can really ask for in all honesty when it comes to an aircraft with customers. From profit as well, the Boeing 777, while we'll never get the exact amount according to predictions from analysts worldwide and basic information regarding orders, has worked its way to becoming one of Boeing's most successful airplanes, and it all came from being a bit bold and not playing it safe. The 777 led Airbus to play catch-up, and while they moved forward with an idea for the A380, as we know how that panned out, a tad differently to, I think, what even they expected, they then, of course, moved forward with their Airbus A350 launch. However, they were playing catch-up already, and while that aircraft is successful now, one can only think what would have happened if they had launched the A350 at a time like that of the Boeing 777. Nowadays, Boeing has the 777X, which while has its problems and niggles and is a battle with the global pandemic that is really robbing it of any sort of firm interest, a lot of things are out of its hands, and it's a natural-born replacement for the classic 777, which is a huge success. This is made through a handful of improvements, including efficiency, those new folding wingtips, which are of course its standout feature, and the huge, huge GE9X engines. It becomes a brilliant choice for airlines that are looking to eventually replace their aging Boeing 777s down the line. 
What are your thoughts, though, on the 777 aircraft? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you are enjoying these videos, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I will see you all next time.